Okay, guys. So here's the correction for number six. Um, on number six, the mistake is right in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the problem just starting from this point. So we had 60 over 1 divided by 23 thirds equals our length. Okay, so we're dividing fractions. So we're going to have to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, now we can simplify before we multiply. And this is where your teacher made the mistake last night. So we're going to divide both of these by 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. 60 divided by 5 is 12. 3 and 1 we can't do anything with. So we're going to multiply across. So 12 times 3 is 36. And 1 times 5 is 5. Now, that is an improper fraction, and so we do need to um, simplify that. So I'm going to divide 5 into 36. So I know that 5 goes into 36 um, 7 times, which is 35 and I have one left over. Um, you have two options here. You can either leave your answer as a mixed number. So seven would be the whole. The remainder one would be your numerator and the divisor would be the dividend. Oh, sorry. The divisor would be the denominator. So you'd have seven and one fifth for the length. Now, if you wanted to do um, as a decimal, if you wanted to put your answer as a decimal, then you could, you could, and I'm going to show you that over to the side. Then you would have had five divided into 36, which would be seven times, which is 35. You have one left over. You have to add your decimal point, take it up into your quotient, Add your zero and bring it down. Now, five would go into 10 <clears throat> two times, and two times five is 10. Subtract, you have nothing left over. So you have an option of having seven and two tenths, and the label was inches, or seven and one fifth inches for the length. Okay, so I hope that clears up that problem with um, number six. So sorry about the mistake, but it was late last night. Okay, bye.